Hello Capricorn and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. Uh, welcome to the Astro Flower family meeting. Um, if uh, you don't know anything about the Astro Flower, go down in the description below. There's loads of links down there uh, explaining about uh, the elements and the petals and how it all fits together. There's also books and stuff like that. Unfortunately, not Capricorn at the moment. It will be coming out very shortly though. Um, yeah, so uh, just to go into this quickly, here we have uh, the uh, spiritual or relationship side, the emotional sort of side. This is your financial sort of side. And this is the energy that running through you and how you combine these two sides of your path together. These are your karmic path and how the universe is sort of influencing on you. Let's just get straight into there. If you're not part of the Astro family, uh, it's very simple. All you need to do is subscribe and click that bell um, and you'll be part of it. Let's just see what's going on on the relationship side of life for you. You had the, uh, the full card and the ten of swords last week in this position here. <coughs> the devil is Cap is the Capricorn card, generally known as the Capricorn card, and it's the light bearer who shines light on the largest pathway. Um, and the, he, he, he does come bearing gifts, which is what you've got on your karmic path here. So on your relationship side, uh, basically it's sort of saying, uh, you can pick and choose what you desire. Yeah, pick and choose what you desire in the in the forms of relationships. And when you pick and choose, then you can share those uh that 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 those choices or those or those or those desires with the world around you. And it will quickly be able to tell you uh you know what relationships are good, what relationships are working for you and what relationships are not working for you. Um you know, he does come with temptations and maybe this could be interpreted as that. But I think it's more of a case here. It's saying you have definite possibilities within the relationships that are around you. Um, don't be addicted to a relationship, but more a case of um, enjoy a relationship. So if I uh, enjoy chocolate cake, which I do... Um, if I was to eat 20 chocolate cakes a day, eventually I would be addicted to it and I probably wouldn't enjoy it half as much. Enjoying things is is in usually within measure. And this is maybe something that um, within relationships, family, biz, uh, family, uh, friends, community, lovers, this is maybe there's something that comes up uh, on your radar this sort of week of realising how you can share your gifts with other people around you, share um, your pleasures and your desires with other people around you, which will help to create pleasures and desires because sharing is that magical ingredient. Okay, let's just see what the guides are talking, uh, trying to influence your karmic path. Let's just see what the message is here. Comes out like that, okay. So it comes in from the outside world. Okay, so. Uh, be wary of people bearing gifts. Uh, is, is, I don't, whatever the phrase is, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, a bit like a, a horse of Troy sort of thing. Just sort of. You're very exuberant when you want to be Capricorn. And when you are exuberant, you can share a lot with other people around you. And you do love sharing. You love sharing your success, knowledge, understanding, and things like that. And sharing in relationships is really important. Um, and it just may be a case of, as you're sharing things, some people might approach you in the wrong way this week. But be gentle with yourself, be gentle with the other people that are around you. So just be wary of that. So eight of pentacles, you had this in this position last week. So you have that mastery of that, of seeing through things. Um, and that mastery of sort of like that desires and 
uh, and that desires and those expressions and those gifts that you have within yourself, um, you have that mastery of sort of being able to distribute it evenly within your relationships around you. Uh, and being in control of your desires, I think, is what it's trying to say here. Uh, being in control and your guides are sort of helping you to do that. So spreading your desires over, not over one thing, but over multitude of relationships um, and expressing that and allowing that to flow out in the world around you. Let's just see what's happening with the guides talking to that conversation on your subconscious level. Okay, so... Not all that glitters is gold, is a sort of situation. So, as you're enthusiastic and you can have your desires and share your desires and with other people around you and be very astute about how you share your desires around you, um, you have to be wary not to be cynical either of other people. Um, and maybe cynical is not the right word, but it's more a case of, um, I almost want to say be wary as well. Um, your guides are really trying to filter people that are around you. It seems like you've got really good success coming in here. Uh, that's what it feels like, but it seems like that... Um, not everyone who may come to, in pretense to be your friend, may be your friend. Um, so this is where your mastery comes in to select um, how you invest your time in your relationships that are around you. And it's coming in quickly. So it may come quick and fast, but it may be a question of that you've got to make those decisions on the spot. And listening to your guides and kind of sort of saying, Listen to them when you, you, you know, when you meet uh, people or when you're in a relationship or if you're in within your family and your friends and there's a situation where you, uh, you feel that there's something not right uh, and your guides sort of confirm it within you, sort of saying to you, uh, if I was you, I'd step out of this situation and just let it, let it deal with itself uh, or let it take its own course and stuff like that. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to mean that you're going to have to do instant uh, uh, decisions uh, and make instant moments, uh, choices, or not necessarily choices, but instant um, uh, taking uh, the direction on your path uh, within a second, uh, within the relationships that are around you. So you don't waste your time, but also importantly, you don't waste the time of other people. Uh, it's also a card of um, yin yang, so having a control over both flows of energy, a bit like the temperance card or the um, two of pentacles, which you had in that position last week as well. Um, and it seems to be coming in quite quickly, but I think it's, I think it's being fed by this side more than anything else. I think on the relationship side, it's going to be very minor. Maybe you might not have time for relationships this week. But you're accumulating, seems like you're accumulating on this side in order to um, provide for the relationships, the family, friends, uh, lovers, uh, community that is around you. Um, and that's going to make things move very quickly within the relationships around you, where you're going to need your guides to help you make instant decisions. So I wouldn't dilly dally this week. That's in regards to relationships. Don't get caught up in long, um, long discussions or long disputes uh, and things of that nature. Be more of a case of just saying no, just saying um, uh, this doesn't concern me or this does concern me and this is how I feel. Being that master of that sort of thing and that could be the gifts that you could be bringing through to the other to the to your relationships that are around you being clinical being clear 
uh, with yourself, so therefore you can be clear with everybody around you. And once you're clear with yourself and clear with everybody around you, everybody else can position themselves. Okay, so let's just have a look at what's going on on the um, uh, financial side, business, jobs, uh, and uh, projects and that sort of thing. Hmm, you're a bit of a workaholic, aren't you, Capcom? Aren't we, as I say? Um, and we are a bit of a workaholic. You had the Six of Pentacles there last time and it needed to have that fair exchange uh, with the Ten of Cups there. And you've started on this journey and you, it's sort of saying you may feel like, this is what you may feel like, that you've bitten off more than you can chew. But it's not the case. It's just a case that if you take your time uh, and realize that um, you can digest or you can um, you can get exactly what you need out of your job, out of your business, out of your projects, if you continue on that journey, if you keep moving forward, if you stagnate on your journey, uh, if you stagnate within your job, and you're not trying to evolve it, that's what's gonna cause you problems. So the universe is trying to sort of encourage that movement within you, movement within your job, so um, you can accumulate uh, good things for you. And it's not necessarily, uh, don't always have to work hard, you might have to work smart. So I think that's more a case of that, of not taking on too much working, um, uh, doing quality work rather than quantity work. That could be quite important. Um, I'm Capricorn, I work loads, and I'm also in the process of probably learning that lesson because I do work a lot and I love working. I love working with energy, I love doing loads of things with it. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence that sort of, uh, that sort of karmic path for this week. Like a fountain of, of fountain of pure, beautiful, cool water, almost like uh, the Queen of Cups, uh, and it's they're, they're trying to keep you very light and because uh, there's lots of things coming in. It feels like there's loads of things coming in for you at the moment, Capricorn, and this could be to do with Pluto, and uh, the guides are trying to sort of. Uh, say don't forget uh, to enjoy yourself don't forget to have fun don't forget to uh, involve your emotions within your job or your business and uh, etc because you will feel a lot more um, complete or uh, a lot more um, fulfilled within your workplace okay ah, yeah nine of wands healthy boundaries so uh that's in a, in a way they're, they're doing that healthy boundaries so you can they're sort of saying we're putting in healthy boundaries so you can, don't forget that you don't take on too much work or you work smarter or you work uh, don't necessarily work hard work smart and enjoying life and it is a starting you know she puts in those boundaries to knows where she's going on that journey and you've got that free of ones underneath it which the universe is trying to help you so it looks like these two guides here are the guides in the universe are working in cahoots for you to get you moving forward and if you take on too much you're going to be too slow and sluggish and that's what it's sort of saying with the light and bubbly side just progress on and allow it to flow on that's the idea okay uh, let's have a look what's going on with the conversation uh, within you uh, and how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that you have within your subconscious. Uh, strike while the iron's hot. Get the uh, opportunities that you deserve. Um, uh, there seems to be like a basket of lots of possibilities. It's like 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 you like you're. Your, 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 your Robin, not, not Robin Hood, is it? A little Red Riding Hood. You know, she's walking through the forest. She's got loads of baskets. She's got loads of stuff in it. Loads of different stuff. And you seem to have this sort of situation. I like carrying loads of stuff. 
but it's quality stuff. And your guides are sort of here, sort of trying to say, take that, don't take that, take this, take that. And it's instant stuff. And it comes in with that, um, with that chariot card as well, where they're sort of saying it's very instantaneous, sort of coming in, yes, I'll take that. No, I won't take that. So that's what it seems like. The Ace of Pentacles, it's a, such a steady progression here. This Ace of Pentacles was in this position last week. You've got the Eight of Pentacles, which was over in this position, in the same position last week. So it is seems to be work orientated this coming week. And it's a case of choosing what really works for you, uh, rather than just uh, taking everything on board. Let's see how this combines it together. And this, I, just to sort of finish off on the page, page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is all about sort of long-term sort of plans. So it's, it's learning the understanding that you take seeds that you have, that you're going to have to plant in the ground. So in theory, you've got less seeds, but you're planting in the ground because you know next season you're going to get more. And that season is long. Growing uh, wheat and then harvesting that wheat takes time. So it's learning about the long-term plan. Okay, let's see how you combine these two together. <sighs> wishing on a star, desires, um, wishing. Um, you're out there kind of going, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this in my life. It's, it's like you're manifesting, trying to manifest, trying to manifest things and a lot of things at the same time. This might tie into the Ten of Wands trying not to, to manifest too many things at once. Um, be conservative about it. Four of Pentacles. Uh, be wise about how you invest. Be wise about how you in spend your money, how you plant your seeds for the longer term journey. <coughs> if let's say like you say, okay, I want a nice house in the countryside. And I want a nice house in the, in the centre of London, for example. Uh, you can't manifest the same two at the same time, unless you win the lottery, of course. Um, but you can't manifest the same uh, two at the same time. So concentrate on the things that are actually going to be worthwhile investing in at the beginning. And so being astute in the environment, in the, uh, in the world around you will be really good for you. It's going to provide a lot more sort of success for you. And it's it's really coming in quite quickly. I know it doesn't seem like in the cards, but when I feel the energy on this on this reading, it's as if to sort of say the opportunities, there is a multitude. But if you try and take all of the opportunities, you're only going to get a load of diluted opportunities. Maybe it's best to take one two, three, four, rather than trying to take 10. Okay, because little Red Riding Hood in her little basket, she couldn't carry the 10. She can only carry four. You know, and it's being, it's being wise. I said Little Red Riding Hood. You know, okay, she, she doesn't look like Little Red Riding Hood, but she's, she's carrying that sort of like bag and she's got that four pentacles in it. It's very much like that. Uh, and being very astute as you go to the market and now spending your money wisely. Let's just see what the energy is going through you at the moment. Happiness will come out of this, opportunities. And the feeling of achievement, that's what's coming up. If you, if you, um, if you uh, take those opportunities with wisdom. Yeah. King of Swords is all about wisdom. <laughs> It's all about understanding uh, through um, getting to the top of the mountain, getting a better view uh, and doing the work. It's all about justice, being just and everything like that. And that's what's coming through you this week. It's building up to the future. And this success is like a, it's like 
um, uh, snow on a mountain. Okay, so let, if you've ever been to a ski resort during the summer, there's no snow at all. It's quite nice. And if you go there in the autumn, you get layers of snow. When you, when you eventually get skiers going down that mountain, you think, oh my God, there's so much snow. But it's been accumulating over time. And that's what you've got to have that within you. And it is, it is like a, a wave that's building for you gradually and slowly. And I think that's to do with these eclipses, which we did a reading on uh, for the lunar eclipse, but also for the solar eclipse, because it's the beginning of a cycle. The end of the cycle is in October. And there's also for Pluto that has gone into retrograding for you, in Capricorn particularly. Um, and it will be coming back in October, as far as I remember. Uh, and it will be there for a month and a half, and then it's out of your sign. It's been in, in Capricorn for a very long time. And that's what's building in you. And if it's building in you, enjoy it. Enjoy surfing those waves. Enjoy the power that is gradually uh, manifesting through your opportunities. Okay? So there you go, Capricorn. I hope, you did, uh, I hope that helps you out for this coming week. Um, if you're not part of the Astro Flower family, you're more than welcome. All you need to do is subscribe and click that bell and you become the, you know, part of the Astro Flower family. Uh, we have meetings of this on a regular basis uh, for the weeklies, but we also do the ones during the week, uh, which you're more than welcome to. There's also uh, stuff that we do on Instagram as well. And uh, there's loads of links in the description below, which you'll be able to explore the Astro Flower, which is a tool that helps you um uh, helps you to get the most out of life okay uh so there you go uh, capricorn um yeah i hope it's a good week for you um in the meantime don't forget life should be fun so please do enjoy